so about Korean dramas. I've only ever completed one in my entire life, and that is Jewel in the Palace. I know there are great and popular ones out there, Descendants of the Sun, Full House, Memoir of Colors, but recently this one was recommended to me, and I've gotta say. This is a whole new experience. I mean, coming from a world of massive beards, gloomy dress codes, and reluctant shoulder hugs, this K-pop culture thing is like getting a new education. And the most interesting and challenging thing is you can't really make fun of it the way you make fun of Chinese historical dramas. For instance, if the female lead does something silly or nonsensical in here, it's probably on purpose. If a guy looks like he's the female lead in here, that's also on purpose. If you can't find logic in the plot, well, you're not supposed to look for it in the first place. So I guess this video is gonna be more about observations than jokes. Yeah, sorry. All right, the beginning of this drama. We meet the female lead who's pursuing an education to become a nun. Her name is Minio, and she's like the most adorable thing you've ever seen. I mean, seriously, who can match? Yeah, okay, good point. Still, she's adorable. Okay. Now, one day while driving into town, she encounters a mysterious man who claims to know her twin brother and gets kind of too close to her. After several seconds of phasing out and letting us all savor her perfect face in this angle, she does do the right things. <laughs> and I mean, I don't even know how this guy survived that. But anyway, after the whole misunderstanding is cleared, the man introduces himself and asks for her help. And here, you better sit down for the complexity of this. So Minio has a twin brother, Minam, who's just won a position of lead singer in a music group. And I guess this guy is kind of like a manager of the group. He suggested to Minam that he should、uh, get a minor plastic surgery for his eyes because the fans would like that. Unfortunately, the surgery went wrong, and now Minam is stuck in the U.S. for another surgery. But the thing is, if Minam doesn't show up today to sign the contract, he might lose his place in the band. So this genius right here comes up with another brilliant idea: dressing up Minio like her brother and having her sign that contract in his stead. Cause that's you know way less complicated than just telling the truth. Now the contract signing would have been an easy and quick job for Minio if, on that day, they hadn't run into the band's leader himself, Taekyung, guy who always looks like someone's cooking is burning nearby. Thinking she's a guy, he drags her into、uh, the recording room where she meets the rest of the group. We have the lively and childlike Jeremy, the sensitive, caring, and definitely second lead Shinwoo, and yeah, this guy. And now that they're all together, I just want to point out that in this universe, Minio's disguise is actually perfect. Slim figure, feminine face, peachy cheeks—that's pretty much every single guy in this group. Okay, so Taekyung refuses to let Minam into that group unless he could hear the singing first, which she does. Being in the church choir, I guess she has the voice of an angel. And because apparently none of these musical dudes realize that she's kind of one octave above the rest of them, Minio's finally accepted as a member. Now, after some back and forth and one hilarious chasing scene at the airport, Minio decides to take her brother's place in the band until he is back safely. And here begins her life among three men who might or might not end up having a crush on her all at once. So, like I said before, the first episode of this drama is surprisingly enjoyable. It's completely different from the stuff that we're used to in this channel. Mainly, I think that with the type of script that ignores logic and common sense on purpose, it depends a lot on the actor's charm to pull it off. Do it right, and the audience will overlook any flaw the story has. Do it wrong, and it's gonna look like the whole thing was written by a middle schooler. And this cast, they certainly did a good job in delivering this intentional silliness. Everything that doesn't make sense in here, it's supposed to be that way, and is the type of drama that completely aware of the silliness is creating and the jokes is making. Anyway, this drama only has 16 episodes. It's super fast-paced, so I guess there's no reason not to follow through and see how it turns out, and whether this guy is, you know, gonna get a different hairstyle in the end. If you have seen it, because this is like what a 2009 drama, let us know what you think.